Welcome to Real Estate School. You know, after years of teaching, the number one subject that students still seem to fear the most is real estate math. My goal today is to take some of that intimidation away. So let's get started. In a majority of real estate math questions you'll face, you're likely to have three variables, two of which are given, and you will need to determine the third by either multiplying or dividing. Today, we'll review three questions. The first question is, in accordance with a 2.5% listing, an agent receives $6,250 commission after a 65% split with the broker. What was the sales price of the home? The second question is, an agent representing a buyer shows a for sale by owner home to his buyer. The seller insists he must receive $10,000 over and above the payoff of his mortgage of $137,000 and paying $1,000 in seller's closing cost. The seller and the buyer agree that the sales price may be increased to cover the selling agent's commission of 3% and the buyer's closing cost of 3%. What must the sales price be? And our third question we'll review today. If a property's annual net income is $24,000 and it's valued at $300,000, what is the capitalization rate? We will be putting the T-bar method to work for all three. If you can remember how to draw the T-bar and label its components, then you'll be on your way to taking the fear out of real estate math. Let's look at the T-bar. On the top of the bar, you'll place the part or target. On the bottom left side, you'll place the hole or total. On the right side of the T-bar, you'll place the rate or percentage. The horizontal bar indicates that we divide. The vertical bar indicates we multiply. What we have here is a tool, a visual algebra tool. After all, most real estate math is just basic algebra. The T-bar takes dozens of formulas that you need to remember and combines them into one simple method. The T-bar is used the same way every time. It takes away the mystery of do you multiply or do you divide, which number goes in the calculator first, etc. So let's get started applying the T-bar method to our questions. Question number one. In accordance with a 2.5% listing, the agent receives $6,250 commission after a 65% split with the broker. What was the sales price of the home? The question is asking for the sales price of the home and provides commission information. This is a typical commission problem you may find on your exam. We know if we have the total commission and commission rate, we can solve for the sales price. As we do not have the total commission, we will need to break this problem into two components. One, to determine the total commission, and the other to determine the sales price. For this problem, we'll have to draw two T-bars. We know the agent received a 65% split that represented $6,250. Here, we have the part and the percentage, and we need to determine the total or the whole. The part, $6,250, will go on the top of the bar. The rate of 65% will go on the bottom right, and according to the T-bar, we divide $6,250 divided by 65%, or 0.65, equals $9,615.38. Now that we know the total commission, we're able to continue to solve for the home sales price. The total commission of $9,615.38 will represent our part and will go on the top of the T-bar. 
the commission rate of 2.5% will go on the bottom right. We are looking for the sales price, which represents the whole or total. The T-bar indicates that we need to divide. $9,615.38 commission divided by a commission rate of 2.5% or 0.025 equals a sales price of $384,615.38. Let's move on to our next question. An agent representing a buyer shows a for sale by owner home to his buyer. The seller insists he must receive $10,000 over and above the payoff of his mortgage of $137,000 and paying $1,000 in seller's closing costs. The seller and buyer agree that the sales price may be increased to cover the selling agent's commission of 3% and the buyer's closing cost of 3% of the sales price. What must the sales price be? The question here is what must the sales price be to net the seller $10,000 after all other expenses from the sale? This is what we call a seller's net question, not to be confused with a net listing which we'll discuss at another time. First, we need the part. The part is what the seller needs at closing. The seller needs $10,000 over and above the payoff of his mortgage of $137,000 plus $1,000 in seller's closing cost. We need to add those three numbers to determine the seller needs to net $148,000 at closing. After paying 3% of the sales price toward the buyer's commission and 3% of the sales price toward the buyer's closing cost, what must the sales price be to net the seller $148,000? Now the rate. The $148,000 that the seller needs to net at closing represents 94% of the overall sales price. How do we determine that? We think of the entire transaction as a pie. The pie represents the total sales price, 100% of the seller's needs. 100% of the sales price minus 3% commission and 3% buyer's closing costs will leave the buyer with 94% of the final sales price. That's the seller's piece of the pie. Now that we know the part, the amount of money the seller needs to receive at the closing, and we know what that number represents, 94% of the sales price, our T form indicates we need to divide 148,000 divided by 94% or 0.94. With using that equation, we determine the final sales price will be $157,447. And our third and final question. If a property's annual net income is $24,000 and it's valued at $300,000, what is the capitalization rate? This question comes from the income approach to valuing real estate. Here we have the part, the $24,000 income, and we have the whole, the $300,000 value. We need to determine the capitalization rate. So again, we divide $24,000 income divided by the value of $300,000 gives you a capitalization rate of 8%. Of course, the formula for that equation is income divided by value equals rate. But you do not have to remember that. You just have to remember to use the T-bar. Once you understand the T-bar method, You'll see how easy it is to apply to a large percentage of real estate math problems you will encounter. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when we upload future videos showing how to put the T-bar to use in order to take your fear of math away. Thank you.